CCX Sports presents coverage of the Section 5 4A Volleyball Tournament. Today, a semifinal matchup between the number five seed, the Spring Lake Park Panthers, and the number one seed and the number one team of the state, the Wysetta Trojans. From Wysetta High School, John Jacobson and Andy Gugersberg, and Andy's nice win for Spring Lake Park in the quarterfinals, taking out number four seed Hopkins. Great win for Joy Johnston's team. And they know what they're up against tonight, though, going against the number one team in the state. Absolutely. Joy knows she's playing with house money. Uh, they got a great win at Hopkins a couple days ago. They come in here, nothing to lose. Maybe, maybe just get Scott to call a timeout. Maybe just let these seniors know that they can be on the floor with some of the best volleyball players in the state of Minnesota. White's out of 29-0 on the season, swept Park Center in the quarterfinals. They have played steady and strong all season, not really letting up. They've lost a few sets finally, but they haven't lost any matches yet. No, absolutely. It's been a long time since a team's gone wire to wire as the number one team in any of the four classes, according to the coaches poll. Wyzetta has done that this year and with good reason. They fire on all cylinders. Their setter can deliver a ball to any hitter at just about any time. And there's a lot of options for her to set as well. Let's look at our key players, starting with the Panthers. Maya Mortensen's really had a good senior year. She's their setter, kind of leads their offense, right? Yeah, absolutely. As with most teams, the entire offense will go through one setter. Uh, Mortensen has done a great job putting her hitters in great position. Surpassed 1,500 career assists this year. Has done it all, not just from the setting position. Talented server, great defender, and most importantly, according to Coach Joy, a great leader for this squad. A lot of talent for Wyzetta, but also a lot of balance, Andy. Katie Revere leads them in kills, but they've got a lot of girls that can attack. She does lead them in kills this season. Yeah, Revere does it from the right side. She's a very dynamic attacker, can, excuse me, attacker, can hit a variety of sets, a variety of tempos, and is also a pretty big, big emotional leader for this Wyzetta team. The winner will take on either Maple Grove or Champlin Park in the Section 5 Championship next Wednesday at Osseo High School. We'll take time out. We'll get set one underway. Spring Lake Park, why is that a volleyball next on CCX? CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is now available on Roku and Apple TV. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including daily newscasts and full sporting events. To find the app, go to the store and search CCX and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. Now available on Roku and Apple TV. Live on a cool Thursday at CCX. Uh, Wysetta High School getting ready for our first semifinal. First of two tonight, you'll see on CCX. Second one featuring Maple Grove and Champlin Park at approximately 7 o'clock tonight. Panthers in blue, Wysetta in white. As we look at the lineups for tonight's match, it's Brooke Christensen, Ashlyn Peterson, Kayla Hoybe, Greta Herzog, Avery Herman, Maya Mortensen, and Lily Morell for Spring Lake Park. For Wyzetta, Avery Jesuit, Sierra Moore, Emma Gerger, Mel Goldstein, Katie Revere, Stella Swenson, and Ella Vogel. Yeah, lots of lots of good things going to happen in front of us tonight. Uh, we have Wyzetta, like we talked about in the pregame, wire to wire number one team in the state. Looking at Scott Jackson's squad right now, his team firing on all cylinders. Wyzetta has the ability to do something that hasn't happened in a while. I got some research out there looking for the last time the big class title has gone to a team that went undefeated the entire season. In 19, when these guys won it, they did not go undefeated. 18 uh, was at Lakeville North. I know they lost to Egan earlier in the year. In 17, I don't believe Champlin did it. And I know none of those Egan teams that went on the run before that did it as well. Here's a look at the section bracket. Uh, Wyzett, as I mentioned, with a sweep of Park Center. Spring Lake Park winning over Hopkins in four. And Maple Grove and Champlin Park also with uh, three set sweeps of their opponents and getting ready for their semifinal coming up here in a little bit. White well, gets the, the home court as the semifinal. The section goes to neutral site 
for the section final and that's why we'll be at Osseo uh, next Wednesday night for the championship. It's always a fun sight to do games and Bill Kwan runs a great uh, section tournament. I can't remember how many years ago it was, but we did, I think it was a section semifinal on Halloween at Osseo and the Osseo student section back then was so crazy they dressed the part and at one point there was like lions chasing monkeys in between <laughs> sets. It was right. one of the craziest yes. nights of volleyball I remember. I think we're a two, few two nights removed from uh, Halloween. I don't know if we'll have any costumes tonight. We are underway here in set one. Chesowitz nicely dug up by Lily Morell. Is that a scrambling put over by Vogel? Front row back set and the attack picked up. Back row by Sierra Moore at the net overpass. Nicely handled by Vogel. Good long rally to start the match block at the net. And it is out and the point goes to Spring Lake Park. Great rally to start the first point here in Spring Lake Park with a couple nice digs. Uh, Wyzetta doing what we saw them do earlier in the year, just taking control of the ball. Didn't quite win that point, though. Maya Mortensen with a serve. Nice low serve. Vogel picked it up. Swing from Revere. And dug up by Brooke Christensen. Outside attack and the kill. Kayla Hoiby, senior outside hitter. And it's 2-0 Panthers. Yeah, Christensen with a great floor move to dig that ball up, and Hoiby takes care of a great set, and it's a 2-0 lead. Mortensen serving to Moore. Quick set in the middle. And the point goes to Wyzetta. The ball tipped by Spring Lake Park on Gerger's attack, and the Trojans are on the board. Sophia Johnson rotates in. She'll serve here for... Wyzetta. Right at Morrell. Back set by Mortensen. Nice pick up by Vogel on the tip by Hoiby. And not getting enough of that was Ashlyn Peterson trying to tip it over Wyzetta. And the Trojans point ties it on two. It's a formidable block over there that <laughs> she's trying to hit into as well. A lot of height over on that side of the net. Mortensen outside, off the blockers on the attack from Peterson. Swenson goes to the left side and down for a point. Wyzetta up 3-2. to two. And the kill for Sierra Moore. Three straight for the Trojans. Take a look at this last opportunity there. We see Moore go into the block and into the antenna. That's a good use. Pushed over by Morell. Here's Swenson, back set, and missing down the line. Trying to hit up there was Gerger. But misses wide, point for the Panthers. We're tied to three. Uh, Gerger on the slide was pretty lethal the last time we saw them play uh, Champlin Park. Uh, that time she just waits a little bit too long, and it misses wide. Let's look at Joy Johnston, eighth year as head coach at uh, Spring Lake Park. With a nice job with her program. And with the one loss record doesn't reflect that, but she's a really good coach. Fantastic coach, has done a lot with her program over the last eight years. Uh, the program is now in a space where it's no longer just we're here to play, like winning a section match is their season goal just about every year, and they did it again this year. Vogel serving off that last point for Wysetta as they go back in front and into the net on the swing by Herzog, and it's 5-3 Wysetta. Yeah, Herzog wants that ball back. She got a little under it. She'll take another swing, maybe try and go away from that block a little bit sharper. Bogo off the hands of Peterson. Spring Lake Park's got a scramble. Christensen got it across. Della Swenson over by Moore. Nice pick up by the Panthers. Swing from the middle by Christensen. Swenson goes back to Goldstein. Good job by Mortensen. Did get, dig that one up, but then the attack coming from Christensen in the end of the net, and the point goes to Wyzetta. Some good uh, plays on both sides of the net as you look at Scott Jackson, now his 23rd season as head coach at Wyzetta. As uh, Andy mentioned, state champions in 2019, and uh, 
certainly right now a favorite to do it again here in 21. Yeah, they are odds on favorite and it's and it's not really close. Egan wants a shot at him again, but right now all the good money goes on Wyzetta winning it here. Serve into the net by Peterson, the point to Wyzetta, it's seven to four. Andy just using a figure of speech there. He's not actually <laughs> making bets on high school volleyball as an aside. That, so. a, a, absolutely <laughs> true. I get myself in trouble with about nine different people on that one. I got to scramble there and pushed across by Johnson. Johnson will pick up that hit from Christensen and go to Moore off blockers and down. Moore not taking a thunderous swing there, just we'll take another look here. You see she's kind of, it's a good in-system ball. She kind of slow, slow plays that ball into the block and out of bounds, really nice use. Nice swerve by Swenson and goes for an ace. We haven't talked about Stella Swenson by name, but we've talked about her this season. What an outstanding player she is, just a sophomore. Might be one of the best players in the state, regardless of class. And she'll get another ace. Back to back aces for Stella Swenson. We can't get it from this angle, but that ball floats a good three to four feet. It breaks. We take a look at uh, how she contacts this ball. The contact point is nice and high. She swings flat through the ball. It's a vicious, vicious serve. 51 aces on the season leads the team. Christensen attacking, back row Johnson. Swenson quick set in the middle of the Goldstein down for a point. Off the hands of Charlie Turnquist and down. And now it's 11 to four, Wysetta. You look up and all of a sudden here's a run of points. Yeah, we take a look at this last point here. Good quick set. A little bit early on the approach was Goldstein. She hangs and gets a good swing on it anyway. Swenson, another point. No, it's still in point, no. Oh. That's gonna be. It's above the bleacher, above the bench, which is an out of play area. So as soon as that happens, the ref signaled that that ball was officially out of bounds, even though it rattled around. House rules, man. Swenson is serving like a machine here. Back set and a point for Revere. Call that tempo, tempo, bang, bang. It's a free ball play. This pass doesn't go high. The set isn't very high. And Revere is already on her swing by the time it leaves her hands. That's a great ball. Swenson will float this one, handled by Lily Morrell. Back set, Christensen block, but out. And a point for Spring Lake Park. It was 2-2 and then suddenly it was 13-4. Yeah. Right. Christensen getting a much needed side out for the Panthers there. Avery Herman back in, she'll serve here for the Panthers. Oh, set and Goldstein hammers that off the set from Swenson. Goldstein just so active running away from Swenson there, hitting that gap or the 31 depending on what you want to call it here. You see the spacing, she gets up right in between the two blockers. Great set location and great finish. Avery Jesuits back in as Moore serves. Mortensen to Christensen, off the tape. Boy, is that able to get it across? Nice play by Vogel. Go to Christensen again, Vogel digs it. Swenson, quick set, Goldstein, nice block in the middle by Mortensen. Point Spring Lake Park. Great patience on the block there. Seeing the hitter, we'll take a look here. Seeing the hitter not spending too much time on the ball. Look at her eyes, she stays with the hitter. Really nice block there in the middle. Ella Geiselhardt in and serves here for the Panthers. Here's Revere, cross court, great dig on that ball. Pushed deep by Christensen. Swenson, Revere a little tip shot here. Panthers and Christensen kind of out of position and on the floor, couldn't get that one up. We talked about Joy Johnson as a great coach, and I just noticed Mortensen, who's probably her best blocker, as a setter, normally you put her in the right front, but because she's so dynamic, has her setting from the middle front position, so she's able to block all three hitters. 
Gets the back set here to Christensen, blocked by Jesuits. Panthers can't get it over in three. Point Wyzetta, and it's 16-6. Goldstein serving. Over pass. Jesuits. Mortensen got a piece of it though, but then the attack was long. And another Trojan's point. Morrill tries to get a little bit unconventional there and take the second ball across, goes for the corner and misses. We have a timeout on the floor. Wyzetta doing what they've done all year, just getting comfortable. Took them a couple points to get rolling, but they are firing on all cylinders right now. Joy Johnson calling a timeout just to calm everything down. So we'll take a look at this last play here. Good touch on the overpass swing. Opportunity trying to go into the corner and misses just deep there. Tough, tough spot right there. If you look at the state rankings, Andy, in Class 4A, Wysetta, number one, Egan, you talked about them at number two, and Eden Prairie, Chaska, Shakopee. Champlain Park we'll see later tonight at number six. Lakeville North, Eastridge, STMA, and Prior Lake rounding out the top ten. Yeah, three, four, and five all in the same section, along with ten. Uh, really, really tough draw there. Prior Lake, the number 10 team in the state, drew Minnetonka in the first round of their section playoffs and uh, lost in five, 16-14 in the fifth. Great volleyball down on the south side of the Metro. Back out of the timeout and the Goldstein serve. And that one, too much air for Christensen, sails long. And it's 18-6. For Wyzetta tonight, you know, you want to you want to play well and, and keep that edge, right? And, and heading into the what you hope is going to be the final year in five days, six days. Yeah, I, I've, I've talked at length with Scott about his run in 2019 and, and the team they beat in the final, Egan looked like they were going to go all the way, but it was the semifinal when Minnetonka took them to five. There was a there was room in the armor, as they say. And Wyzetta saw that and went hard. So Wyzetta wants to take care of Spring Lake Park today, not give Champlain Park an opportunity to think. We'll take a look at the last point here. Good set in the middle, gap set, and through the block and down. Back to live action. Revere picks this ball up, Swenson all the way across. Big swing by Jesuits for the kill. And the sophomore puts it away. Jesuits having a nice little start here. It's her second or third kill already in set one. Rear rips that serve. Set goes outside, across on the attack from Peterson. Swenson in the middle, it's Moore. He used all of that tape and got it down for a point. Nice swing out of the back row. They start in this rotation, which is a two-hitter rotation. You don't see it very often, but when Swenson's able to set at least one of those hitters in the back row, they still have at least three Ready? hitting options. And it's down for a point. Nice attack from Ashlyn Peterson. Sophomore from the left side, able to find the spot. Now taking another look at this great swing, deep cross court. We call that the butter corner or the coffin corner. Uh, really good spot, almost indefensible. Mortensen down 21-8. Front row, it's Revere, spins it across. Swing here, too strong by Hoybe. Hoybe looking for hands there, didn't quite finish it enough. Why is that a looking to close out set one here? Johnson back in. Served a run of points earlier in this set. Side swing and too strong again, this time from Peterson. That's yeah, a big block that Wyzetta puts up, and it's starting to get in the heads of the Spring Lake Park Panthers. Johnson serve off the tape. Peterson was ready for it. Bank set, attack, blocked by Wyzetta. Mortensen set it to the middle. Pick up by Johnson, a little dump by Swenson. Great. Dig by Christensen, and a swing, and a point by Hoybe. That was a great point for the Panthers. Absolutely. First time we've seen Swenson uh, take the ball on two and dump this set, 
Christensen waiting for it though. Watch his great defense here. Block wasn't there, Christensen sees it really nice up, then the outside set, and they sneak that ball right down the line. Revere goes to the floor to get that ball, swing too strong on the attack from Gerger. And the point for the Panthers, it's 23-10. Now Gerger with another attacking error, that's her second and third of the set. I think she's just too excited a lot of times when we get to section play, seniors play one of two ways. They either get real excited and take off and help out, or they get a little nervous. Right now, she might be nervous. I'd like to see her reset here into set two as she earns a little rest now. The serve by Addison France into the net, and it's now set point for the Trojans. Vogel puts it in play. Floats it across, handled by Lily Morrell. Left side swing block, Swenson. And Goldstein come up and block the attack from Herzog, and set one goes to Wyzetta, 25-10. 25-10, and, and as harsh as that is, it, you know, one of the things coaches talk about when they're in these situations is, hey, let's see if we can get to double digits. That's always goal one. Then we get there, then it's can we get a timeout. Then it's see what we can do. Goal one, check for Joy Johnston, but that set, all Trojans the whole way through. We'll take another look at this whole last point. Volga with a great float serve. Picked up well, nice outside set, but the block there waiting as Goldstein is going to get all of that one for the set one victory for the Trojans. Solo block for the senior. We'll have a break and we'll come back with set two, 25-10. Why is that a win? Set one over Spring Lake Park. You're watching section five, 4A Volleyball on CCX. Hey world, I have a quick message. It's about safe driving. All right, let's go. Anytime you're driving, have the seatbelt buckle tight, both hands on the wheel and your phone out of sight. We're not in your hand trying to text somebody back because if you do, your car might get smacked. The moral of the story, just put your phone down. The people on the road will stay safe and sound. Put your phone down, put your phone down. People on the road will stay safe and sound. Yeah. <laughs> First set in Section 5, 4A Volleyball goes to Wyzetta, the top seed, top ranked team in 4A, 25-10 over Joy Johnston, Spring Lake Park Panthers. Panthers with, with some nice points, Andy, but but not enough of them, and this Wyzetta just keeps coming at you, right? Right, yeah, they would, they would get a good dig and get an opportunity, take a chop off the block, and Wyzetta would just run back at them. It's, it's a relentless offensive juggernaut coming back at you so you got to take care of your first swing opportunities and uh they'll serve here to start set two mortensen gets us underway in the second set and revere chedswitz able to get the ball across and then the swing on the other side hoibe with spring lake park the first point it's a little out of sorts right on the first pass. Yeah, I think Swenson thought that first ball was going to go over the net, was ready to defend an overpass, and then when it didn't, things went chaotic, and they never got back under it. Ball go up to the front row. Swenson, Gerger, this is off of Mortensen, played back to the middle and over by Morrell. Nice layout by Moore. Left side, Jesuits for the point. And we're tied at one. I love the discipline on the free ball there. It must be part of the Wyzetta system. That back row takes every free ball because that ball's real short here. And everybody just waits for the pickup, and then Jesuits finishes the point. Swenson, quick ball to the middle of the curve. Nice pickup by Christensen on that one. Swing, and Vogel picks up the attack from Hoyby, and it's down to the floor and a point for the Panthers. Great defense there by Vogel as per usual, but <laughs> Gerger and Swenson having a little bit of communication and spacing issue here. Big swing into the corner, good one-handed play, and yeah, more of a leaning guard than a middle blocker in that situation. Letitia's poor in for Spring Lake Park, serves this one, digs that ball. Looks like swinging down for a point. Attack and the kill for Ashlyn Peterson. Yeah, Peterson with a nice couple chops here. The first one that Vogel dug up, but it counted as a kill. And now this one in between the block and the net. 
two kills for her on the three points. 3-1 three Panthers, four served here, served wide. Sophia Johnson in, will serve for the Trojans. Chesowitz out. Line drive serve. Can you hear that one? Outside they go. Great dig up by Johnson on a terrific swing from Herzog. They block at the net. Handled by Wysetta. They go to Moore and off of Morrell for a point. There's an example, Andy, what I was talking about right at the beginning of the set. A couple of really nice plays there by Spring Lake Park, but Wysetta yeah. just able to answer and, and put it away eventually. Yeah, and there's no. There's no chaos on Wyzetta's side when a big swing happens. They expect to dig it. They expect to be able to run offense out of it. And they clean this. Johnson missed long on her serve. It's 4-3 Panthers. Trojans looking for a touch there, but uh, not recognized by the officiating crew. Serve from Peterson. Revere to Swenson. Swing by Moore. Kick on that ball, but unable to get the pass off was Peterson. Got to the ball, but couldn't put it in position to make a play for her team. And we're tied at four. And just like set one, it was a quick start by Spring Lake Park, and then Wyzetta answered and never looked back. We'll see if this is the turn here. Vogel serve. Handled by Morell. Over by Christensen. Swenson and Goldstein got on top of that for the kill. I don't know if Goldstein is actually an undersized middle or if she's just on Wyzetta and so she looks like she's undersized compared right. to the rest of the hitters on that team. She does a really nice job though. Fourth on the team in box and a really good hitting team. This one goes out. And a point for the Trojans and they're up 6-4. Vogel putting it back in play. And that won't drop. Pass is tight. The communication's going away. Spring Lake Park maybe needs a timeout here. We'll see what happens off of this one. This is a tough rotation because of how they have it set up. It's a really long way for Mortensen to go. Mortensen scrambled to get to that ball. Here's Swenson will dump it over. Try to do that in the first set, and Mortensen or Christensen uh, picked the ball, but this time able to successfully dump it over for a point. Look at it again, Andy. Yeah, we'll take a look. That's a long way to go, and Swenson, ah, Christensen's in the front row. That's why she can't dig that ball. She's got to be blocking it. Finding a spot, Chernquist between two players gets the point. She'll rotate out, but the senior with a Kill there makes it eight to five. Herman back in. Swenson to Goldstein tips it over off of Herzog and out. Swenson serve, line drive, and it sails past Peterson and out. Ball has a lot of movement. That one just didn't drop. 9 6, France in. Vogel to Swenson. Revere was a little out of position, missed hit, and it's out of. Into the net, 9 7. Yeah, in one here, you see Swenson pulled back in serve receive. Revere, the lefty, real uncomfortable on that left side. That one will drop out. Serve missed. Point lays out a side out, 10 7 Trojans. Here's more serve. Mortensen back, Christensen across. Swenson, thanks, and Revere. And Katie Revere 
A nice swing. We talked about her leading the team in kills coming into the match. That's another one to her total there. Yeah, this is this is what a lefty loves. Swenson moving to the middle of the court. Great reversal, cross court. Two to one. Nice swing. Swenson gets set. Jesuits will drop it over the blocker. He's able to get it over Christensen and Mortensen. 12-7. Really me. nice spot there by Jesuits, recognizing the block was pretty well set. She has the tip over the top. Ball drops. Nice point. Mortensen set it up for Christensen. Didn't get enough on that ball into the net. And it's a six-point way set of lead, and it's a timeout for Spring Lake Park. Yeah, that swing just didn't have the pace that Christensen was hitting with. Joy, when she calls her timeouts, it's not, it's very rarely score dependent. It's what's the team look like after that point ended? What do we need emotionally to change here? And that's what she's giving her team right now. Hey, we're okay. We've got what we need to do. Let's just keep chipping away, take care of the little things. Johnson, if I'm if I'm Spring Lake Park, I like Christensen on the nine here. Maybe run the middle, or excuse me, the setter's in the front row, so it's a two hitter situation put her in a position where she can do something successful, get him out of this rotation. YZ on the other side of the net, keep your service pressure on, make Spring Lake Park maintain their single dimension offense. Right now, they aren't passing well enough to run two to three hitters, so we'll see here. I also, we haven't seen Mortensen dump a ball. Maybe this could be the time here to get him out of this tricky rotation. Moore trying to extend this scoring run for Wyzetta. Mortensen will set it, ball tipped. But blocked by Revere on the attack from Hoy B. Down, Swenson, great dig, tip over by Revere. Morrell getting in and bumped over by Hoy B. And a layout by Moore this time. Revere across, laid out there by Turnquist. Great action on both sides of that. Jesuits and got it for a point. Again, <laughs> Spring Lake Park with about four or five great digs. Wyzetta with about six or seven great digs. And eventually the big swing from Jesuits to finish. Here we'll see the last dig. That ball is on a tee. Jesuits has all the room in the world to take that ball into the 1-6 seam. And one in the tape by Hoiby. 15-7, Wynzetta. Moore's on a roll. Andy putting the ball in play every time here. Peterson, off tape, Swenson got a piece of it. Bolo up for Jesuits across. Great layout by Morrell. Here's Peterson attacking. Moore lays out for that one. <laughs> Off a speaker up, hanging from the ceiling and down. And that's a point for Spring Lake Park. Much needed side out for the Panthers. Their great rally. Moore with a great dig. And most gyms were probably still playing volleyball, but that speaker does hang a little lower than some. Here's Revere across. Dug, dig by Herman. Nice block by Mortensen on Jesuits. Mortensen digs one. And it's Peterson getting blocked. Now Goldstein leads his team in blocks. Gets another one there. Good little rally here. That's a high bump set and great block, great close. Goldstein back to serve. It's off of Herman. Ball the middle and over by Morell. Swenson had to reach back for it, swing across, but wide by Gerger. Side out, Spring Lake Park, they trail by seven. Watson serve, nice dig by Vogel, Swenson. And this time, Gerger able to put it away. Good repeat there from Swenson as they go back to Gerger with a little better tempo on that one. Nice swing, good finish. We'll take a look at it again here. The gap set is obviously her favorite ball to hit, and they set that one again into the zone one spacing. 
tip by Swenson. Look at how she used all the court there to get it down for a point. There it is. As we see mom Vicky and uh, little sister Eva up in the stands right there. Vicky herself, a very, very well tenured coach, very well respected coach. Uh, taking mom role on full time now, letting the kids play for a dear friend of hers, Scott Jackson. A serve for Katie Revere. And now it's a 10 point White Shadow lead at 19 to 9. See this clean ace, Revere, bottom drops out. And we didn't catch that one live, but she just did the exact same thing again. Another serve on the end line, really good location. Jaden Morrison, number 14, into the match for the first time tonight for Wysetta, a senior. Also, Keatland Vogt, junior. Take a quick look at that ace before she got subbed out. Really nice serve again. Now we're back to live volleyball. Vogt in serving, her first point of the night. Bumped over by Peterson. Jesuits attacks. Oh, nice dig, but then ball caromed out, and it's another white set of point. They're up 21 to 9. A little, little room on the bench here, bringing some other fresh faces in to get an opportunity here in the section tournament. And that one played by Christensen, but no one else able to come up and get a play on the ball. Goes for a point for White Set Us. Two successful points served by Caitlin Volt here. Molly Soderlin enters the game for Wyzetta. Swing is too strong from the right side by Hoyby. There's still fight on the Panther side. They're just not able to convert these into points. It's great effort. It's good movement for the ball. Just not able to finish. And vote this time into the net. Point for Spring Lake Park. It's 23 10. Scott Jackson getting his players where they need to be on the court here as they receive serve. Poor is back in. We'll serve it up for the Panthers. Vote Morrison. Swing across and a good dig on the attack from Gerger, pushed over by France. Morrison back to Jesuits. Christensen with the pass. Front row, France trying to get it over, and that one did go over by Turnquist. That point for Wyzetta. Off the curtain above Wyzetta's side. And now set point for the Trojans. Jesuits with her first serving opportunity of the match. Goes out, and that will be her last one for this set, anyway. 24-11. <laughs> Peterson back for the Panthers. Floats it over. Jesuits. Morrison, left side, Soderlund for the kill to close it out. Molly Soderlund, the senior outside, puts it away. And Wayzata wins set two, 25-11. They're up 2-0. Yeah, it was another dominant performance from the Trojans. Uh, final score is 25-11, but a lot of that was towards the end uh, when the bench got cleared. We'll take a look at this last point. Jesuits with a great platform pass. Nice set from Morrison, and as we talked about, Soderlund with a great finish in the seam. Set two to the Trojans. Wysetta well, looking to go 30-0 and on the season. They're one set win away from doing that. We'll take a break, come back. More section volleyball on CCX Live right after this. Worried about your friend, but don't know how to reach out? You could say, how are you? Or get a fake tattoo. You could ask with an app if it works for you. You could chat with them in VR. It's so good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Whatever, whatever, whatever gets you talking. 
reach out to a friend about their mental health. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. Champlain Park Rebels watching. Maybe learning a little bit about what they hope will be a section final of Horn. Of course, they have to take care of Maple Grove in the second semifinal here. It's always kind of nerve-wracking when you're watching, right? You know your team's coming up, and you got to sit and watch somebody else play first, and you're just thinking about your match while you watch uh, who your opponent might be, assuming right. you take care of business. Right, right. And, that, and, and that's always the trap, John. Yeah. You know, you, you know – hey, we know we're going to run into these guys next, but if you don't take care of what's in front of you, all your game planning for the next one may be for naught. And uh, it happens. It does happen. Maple Grove uh, capable of causing some chaos for Champlin if Champlin doesn't ready on all cylinders as well. First serve of set three for Wyzetta over by Spring Lake Park. Swenson, Boston Jesuits. Good dig up on the ball by Morrell. Swenson will go to the middle. The Gerger, another good dig. All handled by Fogel. Swenson will dump it over. Everybody else got a turn. Swenson needed to take hers as well. Not only a great setter, but he's got a great size for a setter, mm. too. There's not much of a reach for her to tip it over than that, right? Yeah, already drawing comparisons to her older sister, Samantha. Uh, there is a lot of conversation about how good this kid can be. Is that a back to its original starting lineup to start set three and a good block on the outside and puts twice that up 2-0. Uh, Herzog's attack blocked. Veer taken by Morrell. Mortensen runs to that ball. Pushed over by Christensen. Swenson, quick set. And Gerger puts that one away. And Rosetta falling behind the first two sets early. Trying to take care of business early in set three. And they have jumped out to a 3-0 lead. Yeah, Gerger, who had a little bit of a hiccup in set one, has been on fire here in sets two and three. Swing by Poivy, and that ball is out. Panthers starting to see the writing on the wall here, maybe. Not quite the same pop and energy they had in sets one and two. Veer across, handled by Christensen. Mortensen. Vogel play that ball. Swenson back to Revere. Play by Christensen. Swing the cart. Able to recover. Here's Revere off of Christensen's hands. And excuse me, for Jesuits, rather, on the attack and the point. For Avery Jesuits, it's 5 0. Oh, why is that a, a five in a hurry? Here, a float this serve, handled by Morrell, overpass. Swenson outside, they go to Jesuits again, handled by Herman, off the tape. Swing across, good dig up by Revere. From the middle, Moore attacking. Play back to the middle, great play by Hoyby, and then over by Christensen. Swenson, and put away by Kruger. Again, another play where the Panthers against another opponent. That's probably eventually going to be a point for them, but not against Poisetta. Yeah, Vogel anchoring this defense, making everything seem easy with the first touch, and everything else gets taken care of. That's a tough angle. Good hustle from uh, the Panthers there, but just not enough court. 7-0, oh, Poisetta to start set three. Here, played by Herman to the middle over by Christensen. And Swenson back set down. Burgers come to play in set three. Andy, <laughs> my goodness. Three kills uh, of their eight points and hasn't even been dug yet. She is on fire right now. Take a look at this whole point here. Going to be pushed across. We're going to get the slide opportunity here. Great patience. And it's Crack through the floor. Back to live action. Swenson setting up Avery Jesuits another kill. No let up from the Trojans here. There's a lot of opportunity in these situations to just kind of play down, slow down a little bit. Wyzetta having none of it. Elgo is an ace. 
And it's 10-0 Wysetta. Yeah, and if, if you're Joy Johnson, I don't even know what you do here. You know, it, you call a timeout just to give him a chance to breathe or slow things down. A side swing, and that misses wide on the attack from Herzog. Beer floated across to Morella. Mortensen back. Hoybe's attack was dug up. Jesuits across the blockers. Another kill. Jesuits gets three of those in this set. Yeah, the points aren't Spring Lake Park errors. Why is that earning every single one of these points? Katie Revere this time missing long on her serve. And the Panthers on the board of the side out. It's 12 to 1. Turnquist in, replacing Herman as Mortensen goes back to serve. Oh, Tip by wow. Swenson, wow, behind her head and able to knock it down. That is a filthy dump. Block went in front of her to make sure she couldn't take care of the ball to two, which is what she's done the last two or three times. And she does the light bulb twist to finish the point. Off the tape, point on the serve for Sophia Johnson. Fourteen-one. Not this time. Another point for the Panthers. Geiselhart back in. She'll serve here. First time in in this set. Swenson and the kill from Sierra Moore. Goldstein in now. Vogel will serve for Whitesetta. Trojans very efficient this set. Up 15 to 2 and not. Not breaking a sweat doing it. Everything in rhythm, in system. They can do what they want with the ball right now. Christensen will bump it over. Swenson back set. Goldstein off of Lily Morrell. So fast to the pin. That's almost impossible to block. You have to commit if you're going to get over there. Vogel serve. Christensen, Mortensen's going to play it and by Herzog and wide. Hitting air, Spring Lake Park. Another serve coming for Ella Vogel. Nice story on Ella in the Minnesota Volleyball Hub recently. One of the senior leaders for this Trojans team. That a scramble mode, but they always seem to recover. Vogel put it across. Swing outside, a good one by France, but it dug up. Over by Goldstein. Go to France again, spins it across. Revere got it. Swenson to Moore down the line for a point. A lot of action on that point. Sierra Moore gets the kill. Take a look at the end of this one here. Big swing again into the 1 6. Everything was going against flow to the right. Great location, great finish. Sophia Orwig, junior outside, in for the first time in the match tonight. For Wyzetta, Molly Soderlund also in. That will go as an ace. And it's now 19 to 2, Wyzetta. Will serve into the net. Peterson in for the Panthers will serve here. Emily Soderlund, number six in. 
Ava Hendel, number 11, also in for Wyzetta. Wyzetta will push it across with Orwig. Veer tipped at the net. Over by France. Swenson back set, and Hendel not able to get on that one. It's a point for Spring Lake Park. Good offensive opportunity there. Ball is a little further off the net than she was expecting. Swenson will set it. Good swing by Orwig and a great dig by Morell. France with the attack. Net violation. Another point for the Panthers. There's Swenson. It's here. Another point for Spring Lake Park. Ball did not land in. Panthers with three in a row. Still looking to fight here, see if they can get it to 10. So the Swenson and across by Ava Hendel, and this one down. And why set us at 20. Morrison will come back in. We saw her in set two. Amy Rosen, number 22, in for the first time tonight. The Rosen that'll go back and serve. Swenson and Revere done for the night. Left side attack and a great swing from Brooke Christensen. Senior leads the team in kills. We'll put that away for point seven for the Panthers. Good. Out of system swing, hits it in the seam. Right where a middle blocker would have gone if she chose to block. I don't know that I would have told my middle to block that anyway. Morrison, left side swing by Orwig, was picked up by Morell. Here's Christensen again. A dig on that ball, and despite the effort by Rosen, can't get to that one after the initial dig by Soderlund. Great hustle. Another swing here. Dug into the right side. Great hustle, but not enough. Tip over by Hendel. Outside swing, Christensen. Morrison goes to Orwig. And a point for Wysetta. Another big swing on the outside there is Scott Jackson, I believe, and I, I'm going to get yelled at if this is wrong, but I believe he's used his entire bench here in this match, so everyone's going to get to say we got to be a part of a section match. That's a pretty cool thing for a coach to be able to do. Morrison back. And a swing by Hendel. Good pick up by Spring Lake Park. Oh, wow. for that ball. To the four. And it's a point for Wyzetta. You know, get to your point, Andy, it, it's always great to, to reward players who are, these are the players who are practicing just as hard as the, the starters, the, their core seven, eight players, but don't get the court time, a right. lot of time in right. matches, and, and you want to give them uh, the opportunity to do so, and especially when it comes to section tournament play. Yeah. You know, I go back to that last point that Wyzetta won and Christensen laying out at 21 to eight. Yeah. I mean, that's just a senior giving everything she has because she knows she's maybe three points away. Back set, Christian too gets another attack. A couple good swings from her in this third set for the senior. Christensen with a nice ball down the line, making it to 10 here. Great dig. Back set, she takes it, yeah, absolutely, down the line, really nice spot. A side swing from Molly Soderlund is off, hands it out. Why is that at 23? Gerger back into the game. Handle serving. 
Morrison will set it across and off the antenna on the tip by Molly Soderlund. Point Spring Lake Park. Vogel will come back in here. Christensen serving. Sophie Molitor, number seven, in for Spring Lake Park. Morrison to Soderlund. The front row. Mortensen will dump it over. Vogel gets to that. Pushed it across to Orwig. Up the swing. And this one too strong from Hoyby. Net violation, though. For the point to Spring Lake Park. Three twelve. Morrison. So the one pick it up. Here's a swing across by Hoyby. Jump by Morrison. Morrison a good pickup. They go back to Hoyby on the left side, and a kill for her. Another senior. It's a point for the Panthers. It's 23-13. I don't know, 11 to 4 scoring run here. Morrison's got a run to that ball, knocked over by Molly Soderlin. Net violation on the Panthers it will set up match point for Wyzetta. Caitlin Vogt will come in, replacing Annie Rosen. And Jane Morrison. With the serve. Front row attack by Hoyby, and that's a point. Off of Warwick and down. Twenty-four fourteen, Mortensen back to serve. Morrison was up in the middle, a little off her game there was Gerger on the mistiming of the jump. They go outside. Soderman got it across. Mortensen back set. Hoyby across. Another kill for Hoyby. That's 24 15. Still match point, but another point for the Panthers on the board. Just keep grinding, mm -hmm. you know, make it a little bit closer, a little bit closer. I don't think they they have any space where they think they're going to win this set, but they're going to keep fighting every point. Love that with this Panther team. Morrison outside. Cross by Vogt. Back set by Mortensen. Swing across by Monitor. Gets her first kill tonight. Twenty-four sixteen. Morrison will go and left side swing too strong from the middle rather by Gerger trying to end this one and miss left and it's 24 17. Mortensen floating across Vogel tight to the net Morrison tipped it another point for the Panthers. Bench getting excited for Wyzetta there, cheering on the players who are normally on the bench. Really like to see that from a bench protocol standpoint. Morrison will float it across. Morrison to the middle, and another miss. This time to the right by Gerger. 24-19. Unexpected. Yes. A good serve by Mortensen. Vogel, Morrison can't get to that ball. And three of these last four errors have not been by the players coming off the bench. Two hitting errors by Gerger, an ace oh off of Vogel. Yep. Morrison to Gerger again and missed again. 24 21. Yeah. 
Scott Jackson looking a little frustrated at the six he has on the floor right now. But I love the fact he's keeping him out there. Yes. They're going to get their way out. Vogel. Morrison outside. Soto, and that is down for a kill. And Molly Soto puts it away. And Wyzetta up 19 to 2, wins it. 25-21. The important thing is they win it. And yes. they advance yes. to the section championship <laughs> and they're 30 and 0. Right? 30. You can pick at some things there yeah, in the third set that they want, hey. right? Hey, we'll take a look at this last point here before we close off. A great run here. That ball served. Vogel ball almost drops in front of Vogel and then we see that line is open and uh Soderlund runs down the line to win the point and earn the first shot into the section final anywhere in the state. Great finish for Wyzetta. Trojans will take on either Maple Grove or Champlin Park in the section final. That's next Wednesday, November 3rd, 7 p.m. at Osseo High School, and you'll be able to see it on CCX. A reminder that we've got a second semifinal coming at approximately 7 o'clock tonight. Jay Wilcox and Andy Gugersberg will bring you the match between Maple Grove and Champlin Park. For Andy and all of our great crew tonight at Wysetta High School, I'm John Jacobson. Thanks so much for watching. Season ends for Spring Lake Park. Valiant effort there in the third set, but it's Wysetta, number one in the state, getting their 30th win of the season. They win it in three over the Panthers.